Hello, this is the introduction overview video for the Santa Monica filtration SURF 8, that's the number 8, like 678, and uh, as of right now, which is November 2014, it's the largest algae scrubber, uh, especially upflow algae scrubber that you can buy, and uh, it is uh, uh, certainly the largest upflow algae scrubber uh, that we've made and as you can see if you're familiar with the SURF 4 model it's actually a double SURF 4 and uh, the lights are actually interchangeable with the lights on the SURF 4 that's really handy if you have multiple scrubbers and you're doing different things um, but also uh, the way that they're interconnected in the middle gives you some added advantages uh, for experimenting it makes it more stable in the water because it's like a bigger boat so that when you use one hand to take up a light and do some harvesting, uh, it doesn't move around as much as it does with the SURF 4. So um, uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is how it comes out of the box. Uh, it also has the, uh, this is the heavy duty, super flexible, 100% silicon tubing. It's much thicker than regular airline. Uh, and this is what, there's only one of these. This is what feeds the main air tubing here and that main air tubing goes in there and you'll see where it divides up the air and uh, it goes four uh, air inlets over here and four air uh, inlets over here and that um, that way you only need one of these and this is 10 feet of tubing uh, three meters so that you can put um, your air pump in a far distant place because you do need a large air pump so let's take a look at this now I have it plugged in already so you can see that uh, and this is how it would light up the growth compartment red. All new growth compartments of, of any algae scrubber and certainly the floating surf scrubbers like this um, need to have reduced lighting in the beginning because even just this number of LEDs when you have all this white surface here it's too much light for algae to grow and um, so if you just did it like this it would never grow in here because this white is going to reflect the red light and it's just going to be too much light for the new algae to take hold so that's why we have a low power mode uh, which also the surf 4 has a low power mode and so generally with a low power mode you're not going to need to put the black cloth or the black material in there in order to reduce the light because you just use the low power mode so Anyway, just to show everyone the low power mode, it is very important to get started. That's with all the LEDs on. And uh, let me just uh, pull the power cord here and figure out which one uh, this is going to be for. This is going to be for this one here. Okay, so this one here. All right, so if I unplug this, actually, we'll just unplug this. There we go. All right, so <clears throat> just like in the pictures on the shopping cart, uh, that is the low power mode. So you should not need a black cloth to put over this. You could if you wanted to, but we're currently not including one because this seems to start off just fine. And then after about a week, this will be covered in uh, this will be covered in green or brown slime. And then you take it to your sink and you brush out the slime because green hair algae cannot attach to slime. So you brush that out in your sink, wash it off, come back, and then put this on high power just by plugging in the other power supply. Okay, so this light you can take right off of here, even though it says SURF 8, you can put it right on a SURF 4. They're the exact same light, it just has a different sticker. Alrighty, so with that in mind, let's uh, unplug all these. They do come with these power supplies, and you can connect these to your reef controller, your tank controller. So this is one, and it has the two supplies right here. So you plug in one for low power mode, and then you plug in the other one uh, for the full power. So that's this light here, and then this light here also has the same thing. Okay, so 
There's a low power and a full power for each side. Now why did we do it that way? Why didn't we just do one light for the whole thing? And the reason is, is because when you have it split like this, it gives you one of the biggest advantages to natural algae filtration, and that is partial harvesting. So if you only have one algae scrubber, you only have maybe a Surf 4 or a Surf 2 or a Hog 3, that's all you have is one of those, then when you go to harvest and you clean out most of the algae, your, your filtration is really going to drop until that grows back. So I've always told people you're much better off to have two smaller ones instead of one bigger one. That way you clean one and then you have the other one running. Well, up until now, up until this model, you needed to buy two scrubbers to do that at least two and even three is better because that way you have three compartments going but what this surf 8 model allows you to do of course it's built in that uh, you don't have to uh, have two of them you just have one and it's more stable too because when this is floating which you'll see in a different video you can reach in with one hand and you can pull this up and lift it like this and it's not going to move around too much it's only going to be like it's only going to do something like this whereas the surf 4 is much smaller and it's going to go like that all right so the idea with the double with the split containers like this is you clean out half or you clean out one of these which is half the whole thing and then you put you of course clean off the light always clean the light maybe with a credit card or a piece of plastic or something and then put that back and then you're ready to go the next time you're going to clean this one and you're going to go back and forth and that's going to give you the most even filtration um, the only better uh, more even filtration would be three units and that would, of course, be the uh, a Surf 12, which is not available right now. Okay, so um, another advantage of uh, having a split unit like this is many people are starting out putting scrubbers on a brand new tank that's just cycling, or it's they don't have a lot of animals in it yet, and they don't need both of these running all the time. So you can start out with just one. You don't need to start out with both. So you start out with just one light, and you just leave the other light completely off. You don't even need it. Uh, just leave it unplugged or take it away or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's going to float just fine. And I'll show you on the bottom how you turn off the air on this side. Uh, so you don't even need to have the air flowing here. And you can start out with a smaller pump on just one side if you need to. But also, uh, for the more advanced folks who want to play around with photo periods, you can change things on just one side and it'll be a very good control because the other side's right next to it running the same thing. So you can run different photo periods on either light, on your reef controller or timer. Meanwhile, both are going to get the same air. Or you could reduce air on one side by undoing one of the air lines on the bottom I'll show you in a second. So you can play around with one or the other, or just start off the tank slower and then add the other half later on. Okay, so now this of course is the main air line that comes with the 10 feet of silicon air line tubing and you plug that in there and you feed this to your high volume air pump which is not included with this you have your own pump and then um, when it comes time to clean you just remove the lights and uh, reach in unless you need to take it to your sink in that case you take the lights off and then you disconnect this and then you walk over to your sink so you can maybe scrape slime off if that's the stage that you're in you can even take it outside and spray it with a hose and of course these lights just like the surf 4 lights are completely waterproof and you can put them underwater you could actually use them as a fuge uh, light for Kato or whatever if you want to do that. Alrighty, so um, here's another view. Okay. And it's pretty heavy. It's 13 pounds. And uh, it gets shipped in a, uh, a real big box, a real big long uh, brown shipping box with lots of packing material. Okay, so it's a bigger box than any of our other scrubbers so far. Now, uh, let's take these off. You've probably seen these lights in the other videos for the Surf 4. So that's their identical. Let's take a look at the new stuff here. Alrighty, so you have the two compartments here. Each compartment is completely identical to a Surf 4. It's designed to be that way, so there's no changes there. Now they're separated by this distance right here. This provides more flotation, of course. This is a little bit more flotation around the edge, and that's all designed to be that way because it is heavier. And as the air goes in here, I'm going to flip this around. Okay, the air comes into the air divider here, and then it separates into four 
uh, air lines going here and four air lines going here. So they're routed differently here compared to the SURF 4 uh, because they go to a central location uh, right here which is tucked away. And as you see it has this heavy duty um, bracket here to protect and to hold the airlines in place. These are 100% silicon airlines. And um, it has of course the 3D printed air circles here. The uh, air, um, these are the things that make the air bubbles go into the holes here. Uh, bubble rings, that's what they are, bubble rings. And there's eight of these here. And the reason you have a bubble ring uh, on the SURF 4 or on this SURF 8 is for two reasons. Of course, it directs the air into the hole, especially when you have very high amounts of air which may normally want to escape sideways. Okay, So with the bubble ring, it goes through the hole almost no matter how much air you have. Uh, but also, uh, if you have a strong power head or you're in a sump with uh, you're overflowing a lot of water and um, you don't have any divider walls in your sump, so there's a lot of uh, motion and turbulence in the sump. These bubble rings will keep the bubbles going into the holes. That way they won't go sideways even if you have a power head pointed right at it so you'll be okay there. The other big use of course for these bubble rings is to be able to set it down like that even on a concrete floor, concrete outside or whatever in your sink and it doesn't hurt or even touch the tubings that are protected in here. Alrighty so let's take a look at the, uh, by the way here's a side view the still pictures give you much better uh, pictures of that, but there's your there's your view of that. This is just like with the other surfs. It's 100% um, polyethylene closed cell black color foam designed to float, uh, just like they use this material to make a certain uh, life preservers and things that float around in the water. Alrighty, so now let's take a look at this really unique part. Uh, that only the SURF 8 has. The SURF 4 doesn't need this, doesn't have it. Uh, what you have here, like I was saying, is the ability to split the left and the right side based on what you're trying to do. Now if you want to start out with just one half of this because you have a new tank or you're running experiments or whatever, you can of course turn the light on and off or make it low power, high power, that's easy. But it comes with these four plugs here, these little vinyl red caps designed to cap off one, two, three, or four of these airlines in order to control your airflow. And I think most people, if they would even need to do this at all, will cap off all four, but you can do three or two or one. Now it comes ready to go like this out of the box. You don't need to mess with any of this. Uh, the caps are included, but you can just put those away. You throw this in there, put your lights on, plug this up to your big pump, and then you're ready to go. But for those who want to experiment or do just one side and turn off the other side, this is how you do it. The uh, air divider here just comes right out like this. Just make sure you can see that. Oh good. Okay, the air divider just comes out from behind the little plastic wall here and then you just pull it out like that. Okay? Just like in the pictures, the still pictures. And if you can see this here, they are color dotted so that you know which hose goes to which one. One dot, two dot, three, and four. And the hoses have one, two, three, and four dots. Now they're not, uh, it's not critical which one goes on which one. They're all going to work the same. But these hoses are different lengths. So that's the reason that the longest hose has one dot and the next longest hose has two dots. It just makes it easier to find out which length goes to which one because it it does, it does fit into this little compartment here, and if you have the wrong length on, then it'll seem like it's a tight fit. So this works out really easy. All right, so let's just say that you want to turn this compartment off. Okay, you want to turn off this compartment and only run this one. So you simply undo the dots. Here's the four dots. All righty and plug them the red dots with the red caps just like that and that way you won't lose air that you're not needing it won't just go into this compartment and that's it so that's done all you have to do is pull it back through tuck it in okay 
So now it's in the compartment. These don't do anything now. Uh, you can just hide these under the little bracket. Okay. And that's it. Ready to go. So uh, you just leave it like this. And then when you want to restart the right hand side, you just do it in reverse. You just, um, you just pull these out. Pull this out. Pop the caps off. Look at the dot. So this has one dot. There's one dot. It goes right here. Two dots. Two dots. Uh, three dots and four dots. And then just pull here and it pulls it right up into place. And then just tuck this in. Maybe pull it again, push that up, and it's ready to sit down. Alrighty, so that is about all the unique things about the Surf 8. Everything else is identical to the Surf 4. Uh, when you're setting this up, I think most people will use both. Might as well just get both running, uh, just to get things going the fastest possible. So you're going to go ahead and put uh, the lights on here. The Tubing is down on this side, which makes it a little bit closer to the power cords, so that if you want to route everything together, you would just uh, take your, you would take this and connect it up. And then you can just route all these together like this. Just to wrap that with a cable wrap and a cable wrap and a cable wrap and these will stay nice and tucked in together and then you just have one thing going out of your sump or out of your pond so it's pretty straightforward um, and then unless you're going to be separating a light one or the other uh, and of course if you're going to be uh, taking it to the sink because you need to do something in the sink even if you have these wired together all you do is pull on this if you're uh, if your hands are not slippery. Okay, so you're just gonna undo that. That's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good barb fitting there. It really attaches well. And then you're just gonna take off these. And then away you go. You're gonna take that to your sink and do your cleaning or whatever. As a reminder, if your air tubings after three or six months or a year or whatever, look like they're becoming clogged with lime or carbonate, all you got to use is a paper clip. It's good to do whenever you're in the sink anyway. And just poke a paper clip in there a little bit. If, or, if it ever does get really clogged, then you just take a syringe, which I have shown in a different video, and you just put some vinegar in there while it's in the sink. Just put a little vinegar and shoot some vinegar in there, and it will dissolve that right away. But the easiest thing to do when it's in the sink is just kind of poke something around in there and clean it out. So worst case is you haven't done any maintenance for a year. One of them's completely clogged and you can't get it with a paper clip. Well then just take it to the sink, undo your air divider here, inject some, silica, in, inject some vinegar into the silicon tubing here, just slowly and let it soak for an hour or two and eventually the whole thing will be nice and clean. So there's nothing that can get uh, stuck in here that you can't clean out. Let's see, anything else? Uh, that is probably it. So, hopefully you'll like your new Surf 8, largest algae scrubber that you can buy right now. The only dual algae scrubber ever made. Even our previous uh, algae scrubbers that we made in the past did not have two sides to it. There was no way to compare side A with side B or start off smaller. You couldn't do that like you can with this. So, I hope you like your new Surf 8.